Two central Indiana doctors can no longer practice medicine, but these two cases are very different. The state of Indiana calls one plastic surgeon a clear and present danger. The other is an OBGYN facing sexual assault allegations from former patients. Tonight, our Rachel Krause was at the meeting of the state medical licensing board where multiple accusers came forward tonight to testify. This is inexcusable and cannot happen to one more person. Inside the hearing room, members of the Indiana Medical Licensing Board listen to the emotional testimony of women who say their OBGYN, Dr. William David Moore, sexually assaulted them and took pictures they didn't consent to. In the room, Dr. Moore sat quietly. His attorney, Ronald Mingus, telling the board these allegations aren't true. He's retired and he is not planning to treat patients out there, but he is not going to that he's not going to admit to allegations that are untrue. Five women came forward to testify about what they say happened to them inside his office. The first victim told the board she went to see Dr. Moore in April. She says he touched her inappropriately during her exam, then told her she'd need pictures. He mentioned if anyone ever sees these, they won't know that they're you. And so I found that very perplexing. And um, as I'm laying there, um, he puts the speculum in and I could hear a click of uh, a shutter and so I immediately started to panic inside. Tears fill her eyes as she explains. She soon told her therapist and her husband, later filing a complaint with the state attorney general's office and Indiana State Police. I was so confused why I would a physician take photographs of my genitals. Months later, she posted about her experience on Facebook. Soon after, she began receiving messages from women asking if it was Dr. Moore, including victim three. After talking to investigators, she learned there were photos in her file she'd had no idea existed. That was incredibly shocking to see that photo. So not only was it a photo of my gen genitalia, it was a photo um, of myself being held apart by one gloved hand and one ungloved hand. That photo convincing her to share her story. I have a 14 year old daughter and if this hadn't happened, I might have taken her to him. When asked about these women's allegations, Dr. Moore pleading the fifth. Dr. Moore, you took photographs of the genitals and breasts of women under 18 years old, correct? I'm respectfully not going to answer that question pursuant to my right against self-incrimination. ISP told the board there's an ongoing criminal investigation into Dr. Moore. Today, these women and the attorney general's office asked the board to suspend Dr. Moore's license. All in favor? Second. Aye. Aye. Rachel's in studio with me tonight saying that there's a second doctor that had his license suspended tonight, too. Right. The Indiana Medical Licensing Board also suspended the license of Dr. Scott Mims. The AG's office told the board he's responsible for the death of a patient in November after Mims performed liposuction. Other complaints say more of Mims's patients may have died as a result of his care. As a medical professional, I also know that we have to be accountable for all our actions, so I completely understand that. I just um, ask that you uh, look at all the information uh, and not make any decisions um, before we can get a full investigation. We believe after the evidence today that Dr. Mims lacks the specialized training. He's failed to use licensed anesthesiologists and other providers to protect his patients. And there's a general lack of oversight of his facilities that make him this clear and immediate danger. So, Rachel, we know Indiana State Police are actively investigating Dr. Moore. Is that also the case with Dr. Mims? Well, right now it's not actually clear. ISP tells us it does not discuss the subject of an active investigation mm -hmm. until an arrest is made or until charges are filed. I know you'll continue to follow it for us. Thanks, mm -hmm. Rachel.